guys. So we're going to do the market update for the Evo 9s, August 2019. As always, uh, this is just a snapshot. I know there are other websites you can buy Evos on. This is just a way to kind of keep an idea of how the market's going as far as how many are for sale, what prices are going for, and so forth. Obviously, you can use those other websites, you know, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Cars.com, whatever, to uh, find cars. Uh, there's still a lot of MRs for sale in August. There is also seven repeats, so we're not going to do those in this video. If you want to see those, you can go back to July's video and see my thoughts on those. Uh, judging by the fact that they are still for sale, though, should tell you something. Um, the price is too high, obviously. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean they're bad cars. I mean... I mean, every car has its price, doesn't matter how bad a shape it is. You know, you can show me the most beat the crap Evo in the world, and it's still worth something. There is a number, it's just a matter of getting to that correct number. Um, so, with that, let's go ahead and get started on the seven for today. So, mostly these are in order of lowest to most expensive list price. And um, as always, if you guys go check out any of these cars, please comment below. Let other people know. Save people the trouble, um, especially if they're like a waste of time or the dealership shady or anything like that. Uh, so this first one is the only uh, GSR for sale. I don't know if I said the actual numbers, but there's 14 total for sale right now. Uh, of those 14, there's one GSR, one RS, and the rest are MRs, so 12 MRs. So this GSR, they don't give us a lot of photos, and they're not even large-scale photos. Doesn't really tell us a lot. It's got some sort of aftermarket wheels that kind of look like Volk wheels or Volk knockoffs. I'm not really sure. I'm not a wheel person. Um, or you know what? This isn't one of the GSRs. This is an MR, too. Yeah, I remember this one. Sorry. Um, so this one is a piece of crap. I saw this real quick as I was going through the numbers and I mean the exhaust is just I mean there's a reason it's a Evo 9 MR and they're listing it for 17,000. I'm honestly shocked that a dealership as big as whatever this deal like a real quote unquote dealership would even list this. Kind of just shows the power of the Evo in general cuz any other normal car came in looking like this, they would just auction this off. I mean part of the front bumper is missing. I can only imagine how just utter garbage this car is. And it looks like it's a mountain car, you know, Salt Lake City. So, yeah, I'm going to venture to say um, rust may be an issue. Um, 17,000 is probably, I mean, right off the bat, you need a bumper. That hood kind of looks like garbage from these photos. I don't know. Maybe in person. Um, I would love if somebody went and saw this car in person. So if any of you guys are in Salt Lake and you go see this car, please take some good photos and post them up. That would be awesome to see. Um, but I'm venturing to say it's going to end up on the auction block before long. All right, uh, next one. So uh, this is, this might be the one GSR then. Um, let's see. We got some terrible photos here. You know, I didn't have this marked down as a repeat, but I think this is actually a repeat, to be honest. Yeah, I'm like pretty much positive this is a repeat. Now looking at the photos. Um, you know, it's a it's an Evo 9, it's a GSR. It's listed for 1950. 120,000 miles it's not a terrible price but the fact is I'm, I'm like almost positive this car was for sale last month when I did this and the fact that it's still for sale makes me wonder what type of mess it might be um, so I don't know if I lived in the wherever this is Norco California I have no idea where that's at um, I, would, I would have to go check this out, but I would just don't get your hopes up. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm, I'm almost positive I saw this one last month, and I just missed it when I went through them. All right. So uh, 
115,000 miles, $20,000. Uh, it's missing the front little lip here piece. Headlights are clear coats completely ruined. You know, and while common, you know, it never hurts to have things to use for negotiation tactics. You can't fix this. I mean, you can fix it. I fixed it on my headlights, but it's never a permanent solution. It will come back eventually. Uh, because the only way to properly fix it is to completely move the, the clear coat off of it. And it, there's just nothing like the OEM clear coat on any car when it comes to the headlights. So you could fix it really cheaply, but to actually make it perfect, you pretty much have to buy new headlights. Now, you don't actually have to go out and buy new headlights to get it really, really good, but you don't have to tell them that. You know, you could use it for negotiation purposes. Um, let's see, some aftermarket wheels. Very proud of their Tyne Springs. I think this is the one GSR. Oh, that's nice. The bumper's like hanging off. Yeah, it's just like hanging off there. That's cool. Yeah. Nope, just kidding. I'm going to quit saying that this is the one GSR because evidently I can't remember which one it was. Uh, obviously, we've got aftermarket exhaust. We have a JDM type bumper. I don't know if it's a real one or not. You'd want to check that. You'd also want to make sure the crash beam's there. I don't know what's wrong with the front bumper. I don't know if it's been wrecked or if that's just from them having the thing slammed on whatever suspension they have and it's just gotten the crap beat out of it. It's hard to say, to be honest. Uh, interior is definitely a little worn. For sure, got some gauges going. Still got the factory gauges, okay. We got gauges on gauges. Um, yeah, I mean, got some wires hanging down under the glove box there. Pretty much useless without interior picks or engine bay picks. I mean, okay, no engine bay picks. Awesome, thank you. It says car. Uh, I mean, again, you know, it's not a terrible price, but you're in Salt Lake again, so I worry about the condition of the car. You know, it's it's hard to say until you see it in person. You know, I often say that my car looked wasn't that bad once I got into it. Sorry if you're hearing. Lotus in the background there. Um, all right, next one. Oh, this. Awesome. Prices are firm. I have a MR. I'll leave them because it's so hard to tell in the photos because they're not that good. But I. <laughs> photo talking about how prices are firm. It's like, whatever, dude. Like, I don't know. You've already annoyed me at this point. But if you're in this area, you know, obviously panels are different colors. She isn't exactly known for quality control. Uh, factory, even they removed the Mitsubishi logo. That's, I mean, it just clips on there. You're not sure what's up with this little red things here. Um, still kind of got the sticker. At that point, I would just take it off and get a new one, probably. Oh, it's got the RS shift ball. That's... For some reason, those don't seem to stick around long. Choosers in the Evo market. Um, everything looks pretty good. Other than the $25,000 asking price. RSs are typically, you either love them or hate them. I fall more in the category of loving them. It does look pretty stock underneath. I will say that engine does. So, the thing with RSs is, is you gotta really want a little thing here on the bumper. That's not factory. That's off. It's supposed to be more of a gray, and that looks black. Um, 
Huh. So apparently we have a few mommy. I wouldn't go anywhere near this. I don't want to deal with this. We'll spin a carbon fiber vinyl. I doubt that's real carbon fiber, but looks pretty stock. Pretty stock. I didn't mean to click that, but that's fine. Uh, so these are the factory gauges. They've swapped them. They're typically down with their. You know, my car, like I said, has this too where they've switched the gauges and I'm not too worried about it because I know I'm ultimately going to get. So what has happened is at some point in this car's life, they have sold off or traded the, even the suspension looks pretty stock. Oh, thanks for putting your crappy dealer back. It's a clean car. Um, it's really clean. I definitely like it more than some of, you know, out of all the ones we've seen today, it's All right, the screen recording cut off there for some reason. I'm not sure what happened. But all I was saying was, out of all the ones we've seen today, that's definitely one of the nicest ones. I still think the price is a little high. I think it should be maybe in the mid to high 20s, not the low to mid 30s. Um, that said, you know, it's pretty much going to wrap up this video again. This is just a snapshot of the market. I know there are other websites you can shop for Evos on. This is just really to see consistent month-to-month -month changes on a platform that is typically for serious buyers because you do have to pay to list your car on here versus somewhere like Facebook Marketplace where just anybody can be fed up with their car one day and list it for sale. As always, uh, if you have any questions you want to ask me directly, you can DM me on Instagram. But if you go see any of these cars, please comment below. Let others know, like, hey, this is a piece of crap. Don't waste your time or, you know, stuff like that. Or if you get any better photos, you can post those as well. I don't know if you can post those in the comments. Um, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I don't know. Maybe we could revive the Facebook group or something. But um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to follow along, like if you did. And uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's upload.